you. <laughs> really like throwing me around, huh? You still gotta do better than that if you- Ugh! Well, at least you're courteous enough to return my staff. <laughs> he doesn't have his whistle this time. So where the heck could his Akuma be? Kitty! Humbled yet chat noir. Now let you know what a real fight looks like. I bet you'll think twice before putting on that smug grin of yours. <gasps> Too bad your wisecracks couldn't keep your sorry alive. Finish him off, Roger Cop. Cave in his skull with your fist. Final verdict. Pick a god and pray. Cataclysm! <laughs> System error. Heavy. Structural damage. Oh god, what have I done? How could I... Come on, we're getting out of here. What, what just happened? Did I get hit by a uh, cataclysm as well? How? Run along for now, Chat Noir. Lucky for you, I've got a bone to pick with my Kwame. Nuru, Dark Wings, fall! Now explain something to me, you worthless pest. How did that cataclysm hit me too? The destructive energy traveled through the astral link between you and Rajakop. What? I never read about anything like this in the Grimoire. I suggest you revoke the Akum and lie down. Your injury is severe. Not happening. I was this close to killing Chat Noir. His miraculous was practically in my hand. Master, please! Your excessive anger will only make the decay spread faster. Oh, whatever. I could just akumatize myself later and reverse this damage. My power isn't strong enough for that to work. I don't think you understand what you're dealing with here. Cataclysm is the very essence of destruction. Getting hit with such a power is a death sentence. The only thing capable of reversing Cataclysm is a Ladybug Miraculous. In other words, you're doomed to run away. Slowly and painfully. Then I'll have to double down on my efforts. That isn't what I was suggesting. Meanwhile... Flag Clausen. I can't believe it! I, I used Cataclysm on a person! Oh god, I've made a horrible mistake. Really, kid? That's what you're worried about? Look at you, you're an absolute wreck! Cracked pelvis, shattered ribs, punctured organs. If it weren't for your miraculous, you'd be dead right now. I know, but that man I struck is normally a decent guy. Harsh at times, yes, but it's part of his job. How could Sabrina ever forgive me for killing her dad? What will Ladybug think of all this? It was either going to be him or you. You were only defending yourself. I'm sorry I got you into this mess, Chat Noir. Huh? What are you talking about? I got me into this mess. This is all my fault. None of this would have happened if I was smart enough to change my look when Ladybug first showed up. I should have known better than to keep the bluish black hair and pigtails look. I only put my hair up like this because an old friend did it too. So Quillan, her name was. She and I love to do the whole twinsies things. I never would have thought it gets so many people hurt now. I really am a magnet for disaster. There hasn't been a single day in my life where I haven't screwed something up. I ruined everything. And I dragged everyone down with me in the process. All I ever done for people is hurt them. Including you, Chat Noir. You wouldn't have been so badly injured had it not been in the way. It's probably a good thing I didn't get the chance to confess my love to Adrian today. I just ended up hurting him too. Why did I have to become a failure? Why must I bear this curse? Hey, Marinette? I don't know who's been telling you these things, but they're not true. No, they are. I just can't do anything right. That isn't what I've noticed. For what little I may know about you, I am certain about one thing. You are an extraordinary person. The number of truly incredible things you've done within this school year alone is a feat on all on its own. For one, you made a hat that was noticed and approved by Audrey Bourgeois of all people. And she's difficult to impress! And that's not the least of it. I've heard all kinds of stories about the things you've done. You got to make an album cover for one of France's biggest rock stores. You helped to form and design the costumes for a budding indie band. You won a big gaming tournament with one of your companions. You're always trying to help those around you, rarely expecting anything in return. You're living a dream life, Marinette. You are by no means a failure. Flag, claws out. Now then, I think what I have to say next is better said personally. Marinette, considering all of your achievements and the kindness you've expressed to all of us, I think you might just be one of the greatest people I've ever met. It really is no wonder why I can't see anyone else being the girl behind Ladybug's mask. Adrian would be very lucky to have you in his life. Tell him your feelings as soon as you see him again. <laughs>